Hello and welcome to expectations for the 2021 academic year. If you have any questions, um, you can just make a note of them and then ask the class teacher either when you drop off or pick up. the visions and values you may be familiar with already. Um, everything we do at Colton Primary School is underlined by our visions and values. So we are confident people shining and we are all stars developing skills for life, supporting each other and our team to achieve our Mrs. Thomas and the LPs are Mrs. Bowery and Mrs. White. And in Ruby class, class teacher is Miss Westerberg and the LP is Miss D. Uh, the PPA teacher is Mrs. Preedy. So this is the year two team for this year. As phase leader of year one and two, uh, Miss Timings. Middle leader in year two is Miss Kendrick and uh, she's in magenta class with Mrs. Porter as her LP. In Indigo class, the class teacher is Miss Shivanes, and the LP is Mrs. McCleary. And in Turquoise class, Mr. Pinchbeck is the teacher, and Mrs. King is the LP. The PPA teacher for year two is Mrs. Wilson. So as ever, uh, we have high, spec high expectations of work and behaviour. Uh, we give opportunity for pupils to achieve um, with enrichment and extensions uh, in order that pupils have high expectations for themselves too. Um, the expectation is underpinned by routines in school and also the support at home, which we will come on to shortly. So in year two, the children will come into school independently and put their belongings away in a tidy, quick and considerate way. At the moment, we're not using um, pegs or lockers, uh, so it will be within the classroom in the designated area. Uh, they are responsible for handing in any letters and having their resources ready to start the day. Again, um, with what's going on at the moment, we, there will be less letters. Um, and it's also worth noting that we are a no cash school. Uh, so please use parent pay for trips and dinner money. Again, if you need any, uh, if you need your parent pay details, please get in contact with the office. OK, so a few things to remember. Um, ensure that all uniform is correct um, and please named, um, including shoes and coats. So they should wear a white blouse, a shirt, polo shirt, dark grey or black skirt, shorts or trousers, and black closed toe shoes, no trainers, red, grey or black tights or socks, and the socks can be white. Now at the moment for year five and six, um, they come into school on the days that they have PE in their PE kit, but usually a full PE kit should be in school at all times. Uh, the Space Team coloured t-shirt, black shorts, black trainers or daps, no football kit or t-shirts with large logos. Again, if you're not sure what, which Space Team your child is in, you can ask the class teacher. Remove earrings before PE lessons and hair should be tied back. In terms of jewellery, only studs should be worn, so no hoops or dangly earrings. No bracelets, necklaces or anklets, please. And no jewellery to be worn at swimming. And of course, toys should stay at home. A slight change of this year um, in terms of our behaviour and recognition. 
uh, we've moved away from our behaviour ladder and uh, instead for good behaviour shown in the quality of their work or attitude and play, uh, they'll be rewarded with class dojo points and the children's point tally is added to their house team's total. Uh, for poor behaviour or attitude, it will result in the children losing break or lunch time. And if there is persistent poor behaviour, red and yellow cards may still be issued. Okay, so we are still using restorative practice and it's inevitable that at some point issues may arise. Um, so if they do, we get all parties together and discuss what's happened. So we ask them what happened, what were they thinking at the time, and do they think any differently now, and how did they feel? We ask them who's been affected by their actions and what way they were affected, and then we decide together, both parties, what needs to happen now. So our stars, our restorative stars and staff uh, will be following this method throughout the school. So there's a slight change to the overview of the day. The doors open, as you're aware, slightly earlier, 8.40, and there's a half an hour window for you to drop your child off. Home time again, there's a half an hour window between three and half three for you to pick your child up. Now, if you have a read through the bullet points there, that's how a typical day may look like. Again, there's a few things that may change between weeks or even between year groups, but that's how our typical day may look. So homework in year two. So the homeschool learning agreement has been read and signed by the parents, children and teachers. And this details homework expectations. Reading and maths into rail passes are to be conducted at least three times a week. And please do record in your wow books. This is because space team points or dojo points are issued for each entry. At the end of the academic year, children should know their times table and division facts for their twos, fives and ten times table. Spellings are tested and issued every Thursday in their spelling book. Each child is expected to write a sentence containing each of their spellings in context in their homework books. And please practice their spellings in there too. Again, to the recording of homework, please write down and encourage your child to write down each time they've completed a task in their wow books because they will receive dojo points for each entry in there. You may recognize this slide from last year um, and it really just outlines the importance of uh, reading and regular reading and how it impacts on the success of a child at school. So for example, child A reads 20 minutes per day that's 3,600 minutes per school year, and that's 1.8 million words per school year. So that's for 20 minutes a day. If a child reads five minutes per day, that's reduced to 900 minutes per school year. And again, the word count is reduced to 282,000 words per school year. Now child C, they only read one minute per day. That's 180 minutes per school year, which equates to 8,000 words per school year. So it just shows the importance of reading either on their own or to a parent or guardian for 20 minutes a day and that impact it can have over the school year. OK, so assessment. At the moment, uh, due to government guidelines, children are sat in rows. At the, teacher, at the teacher's discretion, based on personalities, independence and ability, um, but they can be changed, um, again, at the teacher's discretion.
There are daily formative assessments throughout all lessons and then termly teacher assessments of the objectives that have been taught and we use these assessments to inform our plans, to set targets for children and to implement the interventions. Okay, so Doodle Maths and Doodle English. Um, again, you may already be using these, certainly Doodle Maths. Doodle English is slightly newer to Colton, um, but obviously to download Doodle Maths, Doodle Tables and Doodle English, you need to visit doodlemaths.com forward slash available dash apps. Okay, the good thing about Doodle Maths, Doodle Tables and Doodle English is uh, the program uses algorithms uh, to tailor to tailor learn to your child's individual needs. So it means that uh, all children should be able to have a go at Doodle Maths, Doodle Tables and Doodle English independently. Uh, certificates and small prizes like we did last year are given out in school to celebrate the children's achievements on the apps and regular home loose will help help extend classroom learning so it's really important that they are completing that at home okay so let's have a look at the curriculum in year two in maths year two children are expected to be able to use the four operations so that's addition subtraction multiplication and division with two digit numbers they should be able to solve a range of problems including finding simple fractions of amounts in English, children will be expected to write a range uh, for a range of purposes, writing in full sentences, extending their ideas using conjunctions. They should be able to use adjectives to create expanded noun phrases and use the range of punctuation taught in year two. And in science, uh, this year we will cover plants, everyday materials, animals, including humans, living things and their habitats. In year two, we will be uh, continuing to use Read Write Inc. So this is a cohesive program to teach phonics. It enables every child to become a confident, fluent reader. The children will be consolidating sounds that they've learned in year one. And as pupils were due to sit the phonics screening check in the summer of year one, they will now complete the check by the end of the autumn instead. And you can see on this slide there, there's a website which you can go and visit for more details. So here are some examples of set one sounds for the read write ink. And here is a list of the set two and set three sounds. For read write ink again if you would like any more information about this then you can go and speak to the class teacher so the quest themes in year two this year um, to start with in the autumn term it's captain colton and terrific toys in the spring term, it's fire, fire. And in the summer term, out of Africa. Interventions. There's a wide range of interventions that are available and they can include academic, social, emotional, English as an additional language and behavioral support. Each intervention is tailored to meet the needs of the individuals or the small class groups and social and emotional support is also available for families via the Family Support Walk Worker, Stella Smithson and the Thrive Team. Okay, school reports. We'll send home an interim report in the spring term 
and there will be a phone consultation evening in the autumn and spring term. So where we would have had last year a face-to-face -face parent consultation evening, uh, this will be now done over the phone. You still book your slots on eSchool as you usually would, and then the, te the class teacher will call you at that designated time. At the end of the year, we will send home the full report as we usually would. Okay, pupil premium funding. So the school can receive money for families who are eligible for free school meals. This money can be used to fund all trips and residential visits, as well as extra tuition and in-school support for your child. So children qualify if you receive the following benefits. So either universal credit, which is net income of 7,400 or less, income support, income-based job seekers allowance, income related employment and support allowance, support under part four of the Immigration and Asylum Act in 1999 and the guaranteed element of state pension credit and tax, child tax credit. So you can apply online via the Gloucester County Council website and again if you need any support with that you can get in contact with the school who can assist you with this. And finally parents. So we see parents as important partners in the process of developing children's language, reading, writing and numerical skills. We offer an open door policy to parents if there are any issues in school, although if there is a spe specific concern, it is advisable to make an appointment to call class teacher or the phase leader. We have high expectations of learning and behaviour and would like you to support us in these areas. And as I mentioned earlier, if there are any concerns or questions or queries, please come and see your class teacher. So we communicate in a number of different ways. We have our fortnightly newsletter and class news, which is put onto the eSchools page. We have our Facebook page, which is updated regularly with what's going on around the school. We have our school website. We have text messaging, 